There have been some big updates to Robert Pipe's PlayStation Core for the Mr. FPGA. CPU emulation is now done as the core passes all of Amidog's CPU tests. Amidog is a developer that has done a lot of research regarding the PlayStation hardware. They have created a suite of tools that help emulation developers test the accuracy of their emulators. For the Mr. PlayStation Core, this means all CPU functionality required for games has been implemented, which is a big step forward for the core. After the CPU emulation was done, the developer went ahead and started work on the PlayStation's GTE, and in a matter of days, he quickly got it to pass Amidog's GTE test. The GTE is a PlayStation's geometry transform engine. It is a co-processor with extra instructions that help speed up calculations regarding 3D graphics. The quick development of the GTE was possible because of a custom port of the DuckStation emulator. That emulator on its own passes all of Amidog's GTE tests, so instead of probing real hardware, the developer was able to probe his custom port of DuckStation. As a result of all current work done, this core can now boot up the PlayStation BIOS. Check it out in all its glory. As a bonus, the developer also included a homebrew game that you can play. It's a very simple breakout slash Arkanoid clone. But I can technically say I'm playing PlayStation on my mister. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can try this out for yourself. In addition to these big updates, there have been other behind the scenes, but just as important additions and fixes to the core. The current goals for the PlayStation Core are to first get the emulator working without sound using a single SD RAM module. When sound gets implemented, a second SD RAM module will be required. Later, he wants to be able to optionally fit everything into the D10 Nano's DDR3 RAM. These requirements might change in the future, but it's what the developer currently anticipates. When creating software, you anticipate certain things in the beginning. As you get further into development, Certain things you anticipated may no longer be the case, sometimes for the better and a lot of times for the worse. So that's it for updates. It was pretty exciting seeing the BIOS boot up. If possible, please support Robert Pipe's Patreon. He's the developer of the PlayStation Core. Consider supporting Patreons for other core developers too. The work they do for something that we will eventually get for free is not easy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to receive future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.